What's up guys? Welcome to episode 48 of Tuesday Tips. Um, like I said last week, we're now on to walkthrough solves. So I've pretty much gone over all the stuff I kind of wanted to for in terms of kind of a lot of the methods and the more structured stuff I do. Now we're going to do walkthrough solves. I think these are really important. They're really helpful in kind of finding the more minute details of stuff that I do and just um, things in general that I might not have thought of originally. They're kind of going to come out here. If you notice, I got this new super nice camera. Thanks to everyone on Twitch for supporting me so I can grab that. And uh, here we go. So two weeks of each walkthrough solve is going to be half an hour each for a total of an hour of every cube walkthrough solves. I want to give you guys a ton of content. I honestly think that if you've never watched a bunch of these, watching walkthrough solves for an hour is probably, like well, only watching walkthrough solves isn't good, but like watching walkthrough solves for an hour might probably actually more beneficial than cubing for an hour, depending on who you are and kind of where you are. So. We're gonna go ahead and start. We got four here. We might do some more. I'm scrambling. It only takes a couple seconds. So let's uh, go ahead and start. We got first first cube here. Um, oh, let's zoom in just a little. Uh, we're pretty zoomed in. Okay, let's see what we got. We got first thing I see is we got blue. So we got this like little thing right here. Match that with this right there. We'll make a quick two by two. Um, we can make a quick two by three with these pieces right here and then this piece down here. The thing is, we see now the next bar isn't gonna be bad because the pieces will all be on this layer, so it's okay, but um, I I wouldn't immediately jump to that. Everything else does kind of look like garbage, though. The next best thing I see is yellow. Um, we have this pattern right here, which we can use this piece right here to finish out this 2x2, two two, and these will match up for the 2x3. But then, after we finish this, the next, it might be better. This Okay, so actually, I think yellow is marginally better in this case, because we can finish this really quickly, put the bar right here, and then we can rotate like this. This piece will make a two by one right here, and then with a quick R wide prime down, we're gonna solve. So here's what we do. Boom. And we got two bars. We got the first center. Actually though, uh, in a real solve, I'd see this, and I'd do a U to preserve this two by one. Having this two by one is really nice. So then we see we got this two by, we got this two by one right here, and then we got this extra corner. So now we're looking for is this is okay, but we actually want just a middle piece so we can finish off a two by two. Then we're gonna go do this piece right here. And now this is something I do, I'd rotate here to kind of do this and ideally you wouldn't rotate as much, but I do that so I make up this bar. Boom. Then I see uh, blue, I'd probably just immediately go for blue because there's a full bar on blue. So I see immediately red might be a little better, but I probably wouldn't see it, I'd just go straight for blue. Quick. Um, so in this case, there's two options. Um, you can either make the bar like this, or you can make it like this. Making it with the left is definitely better because you keep this piece here and you can keep tracking it as opposed to you lose track of this piece a little easier. So make that bar right there. Um, this is a one move save. One move saves are good if it's already built. Like Notice I'm not building the pieces. I'm just doing one move to save it. So one move save. Uh, I know the last piece is right here from earlier. Finish that bar right there, or that center. So now I got this bar right here. I already know I saved this bar down the middle. Boom. Uh, now I'm just gonna finish out this one. There's two ways you can do this. You can either do it like this and then insert it in the middle, or you can do like this. Either one works. I honestly switch between either of them. They both work either way. Uh, then I got lucky where these two bars are already finished. A quick finish right there. Then clear first pair right here. Easy slice up slice move. Um, this is clearly the next best one. Uh, I wouldn't, actually so I wouldn't, I would probably look and see I see nothing. But I then see that there's these three right here, green and white. And I notice I can solve these these very quickly while still preserving this. So I'll go ahead and do slice of slice, solve this. And I know that the white and orange piece isn't on this face, so I'll go ahead and do this Y2 at the same time, and I'll continue looking for it. Boom, right here. And I see also green and yellow right here. So now I'm looking for the last green and yellow piece. I don't see it on top. So again, I see that I get kind of lucky at this full piece right here. Honestly, this is probably a bad idea because this you might want to save until later. You don't know what's going to happen. You can cancel with another flat flip. In real world though, I'd probably just go ahead and do this. At the same time, do this Y2 rotation to get this, now the other side on top. And now I know the green and yellow piece that I'm looking for is going to be over here. Like I said, right there, boom. Now I don't see anything too obvious. I did see this piece right here though. I might not have seen this in a solve, but I'm going slow. So luckily uh, I can red and yellow, red and yellow, boom, right there. And then, um, Blue and yellow, blue and yellow here. This is going to require a flip, but as you can see, these are correct and these are not correct. Definitely don't do this. There's no reason to do this at all to match those up. Just flip this one and then match them both up like this. Now we're over here. 
You have two options. We see that this one's good. There's two pieces. We also see that this one's good. This one's not going to require a flip, though. So we're going to do this one first. Now he's pa we're inserting our last edge. Now we see two things. We see this is solved. Don't bother saving this. I made a tip video about this. Not worth it to save. Um, in this case, we're going to... There's In this case, this is already made. And we're going to insert. So there's two ways to insert. We can insert like this, and it'll get broken up. Or we can insert like this, and we'll save it. We don't know if it's going to be good or not. We don't know if we're going to use it, but it requires no effort, so you might as well do it. Um, now we see that there's a pretty bad case. There's no two by ones already matched together correctly. So we can just go ahead and use this slice up slice. This one slice up slice. So two slice up slices to finish two edges. Not too bad, but not too great. And then we three slice up slices for the whole last four edges is not bad. And then we got three by three. Um, debate on if I even want to bother going through these three by three stages, but I guess if like anything pops out to me, but standard three by three stage. All right, we get our next solve right here. All right, so five minutes, probably do six of these. All right, right here we got, um, red is definitely the easiest here. So we got a full bar. We got this bar is made right here, three pieces. We got this bar right here. So the key now we're looking at is what bar are we gonna do first? Um, in this case, what I do is I would probably do this bar first. Cause I can make this bar into right here without messing up these pieces. So then I got this bar here and then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna insert this this red piece is gonna go up. I'm gonna, I'll show you. So I, this is all planned out. I know this, I could do this whole thing blind essentially. So, boom. And then I get to right here. I'd, I'd wanna save this and I do that. So now I have this case I mentioned earlier. We need two solo middle pieces to finish this off. Oh, boom, we got them right there. One, two, two by three. Um, match these up, match these up. And now we got this full green bar, which is nice. Go ahead and look there. Um, unfortunately, actually, we, we probably switched to blue here because this is easier. There's no clear green, so we go ahead and switch to blue. And blue ends up being a lot easier. Now we got, we have this full white bar, but I really don't like switching. Like, this is kind of an awkward switch. You get thrown off your, you get thrown off, and 5x5 five, five centers are already so easy. I really don't like doing that. So we're going to keep ahead with yellow. Make that 2x1. Unfortunately, there's no 2x1s already made, so we're just going to do this. And then, because we know that this piece is right here, we're gonna go ahead and make this last bar while we're doing that. Um, this is a okay last two edge case. We're gonna make a two by three on the left. And then a pretty standard finish. So now we got um, blue and yellow right in front of us. Unfortunately here, I'd probably go for green and yellow even though there's only two pieces. It's really not great to go ahead and do uh, an edge where you can't see all, five, all three pieces, but Unfortunately, there's nothing else I saw immediately there. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one right here. We're gonna also, so we see this green, yellow, green, yellow, and we see that this blue and red is right here, two done. So we're gonna go ahead, finish this, but the key is we're now looking for the blue and red at the same time, because we can do this part blind. Boom, blue and red. Now we know we can match these up with this insert. And next we see, all right, red and white, red and white. Unfortunately, again, two at the same time, not the greatest. Uh, red and white's over here. We also, I actually have already noticed there's two blue and whites right here, and we saw this third blue and white back here. So we have all the pieces. So when we make this red and white, we're going to set up for this piece right here. And then again, we noticed when we had this right here, we also saw red and yellow right here in the back. So that's probably going to be our next edge. So we're going to want to keep these still oriented correctly. So we put this one in there, and if we kept it in the same orientation, we do this. But that would take out this red and yellow. So we're going to go ahead and just do this right here. Now. Normally, you go ahead and look for the red and yellow on bottom, but since we already have these three edges just happen to be solved and we're already in this orientation, we're just going to go ahead and finish up all four on top, so that way we now know kind of the beginner's trick of now we just need to look at the top. So red and yellow, like we planned, right there. Um, unfortunately, nothing too easy right here. The easiest, uh, I don't even know. I'd go for green and white, probably like this, and then the last green and white. This is a pretty bad case. And then orange and white right here. This is going to require another flip with these three, but it's okay. And then right here, this is nice because we've now finished our first eight edges and there's no there's no realignment needed. So you can think when you place this edge in, but unfortunately this is a terrible last four edge case. Look how there's no two paired up at all. This is awful. We're just going to go ahead and do an MU2 M prime to get that sorted out. Uh, in this case, this is definitely a cycle case. Um, this is probably the easiest cycle start right here because it's already mapped in. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Cycle, smart cycle this orange and blue piece back to here. Then uh, this is gonna be another cycle. Cycle here and then smart cycle. This is unfortunately gonna be a pure parity case, but 
That's 50 50. So, pure parody. Oops. I don't really see anything too interesting on that 3 right 3 stage. And boom. That was number two. All right. Here is walkthrough solve numero trace. A little off center. Let's get back in the center. Let's zoom in a little bit too, I guess. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got. Let's look at this start. Um, nothing too easy. First thing I see is we got orange in this pattern we've seen before. We got yellow in this like this. This is a pre T in the sense that you can make it a T with this. It's so like these two will finish off this two by with a two by three fairly quickly. Um, so I probably go with yellow because. Orange isn't set up. Orange, the pieces are kind of scattered. They're here, they're here, they're here. It's going to take some cube rotations to finish this off. Kind of awkward. We're definitely going to go with yellow because make these into a 2x3 really quickly. And then we do a quick rotation here. And we can finish this bar like this. So we're going to go here. Boom. Boom. We're going to rotate and do a D so now this is on the right. Boom. Now here, this is a great case. We got two 2x1s and we got this. I'll match up real quick. Boom. 2x3 real fast. Finish off the white center, nothing fancy there. Uh, here we see, I'd probably go for green next. Um, Cause I can make this two by one, and I, so I'm gonna do a U prime to save this two by one, cause I know it's gonna match up with this corner. Oh, two bars. Um, right here, I already have this red, I could save it, like I could save this bar, or but I like saving the middle bar more, so I'm not gonna do anything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up. Notice how I leave the green solved on the right. There's no reason to put it on the left, there's hardly any moves left, I'm just gonna go ahead and solve straight to the left. Right here, we got this 2x3 we can make like that. It also pulls this corner out, which is nice. And then, uh, pretty simple last bar case. This is good because I saw it was going to preserve this bar to here. And then, skip two bars on the left, and then pretty standard case right there. Next, we got... This is, this is actually a pretty easy start. This is a very fluid start. So, we got red and yellow right here, and we also see blue and yellow is completely done. And I saw this, but I wouldn't have seen this until later in the solve, but... So we're going to do red and yellow right here. And then blue and yellow right here. And then... I probably would have seen the red and white right here, so now I'm going to go ahead and... I knew red and white, the third red and white piece wasn't here, so I'm going to go ahead and do this Y2. And I could do the flip right here into solving this, but that's not any good, because I know there's a third piece out there. And I'm going to have to insert it, and I can cancel the flip with this insertion right here. See this insertion? Boom. Cancel the flip right here. So now I could insert here, but you see I already have these two solid pieces right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a back insert. And now this is solved. And I know the correct piece for the green and orange is on the back side right here. So I just need to find the last green and orange. Uh, it's on the top side. I'm going to insert the green and orange correctly right here. And boom. Edge solved. Uh, now this will finish up all four on top as well as starting off this edge right here. Orange and yellow. Very nice. And then orange and yellow right here. Also noting that the green and orange, or blue and orange is right here. Blue, orange, blue, orange. So it's going to take a flip. But now we're in, um, we got this solved. Right there. Next we see, nothing too great, but this is a, orange and white's the best case because this will go in with RUR in 2 gen, and this will also, this one's also oriented correctly. So we just enter this real quick, enter this orange and white from the back. It was right here, from the back. Boom. And then... Green and white right here. This is oriented correctly, and this one's also going to be real quick. Third edge. Uh, nothing to do here because you can't really save anything because they're all misaligned. Uh, realign edges. This is definitely a cycle case. What we're going to do here is we're going to, since this cycle, this piece is going to cycle all the way over to here, we're just going to pull out this back one. And then we notice that um, this blue and white is setting up for another cycle, so we're going to make sure we enter this blue and white on top. That way, when we come over here, it's set up for this cycle already. Pull out this back one. And then we, this is a common case you'll see. Um, you do this cycle and you notice that when you put this piece back in, it's going to form a flipped edge and this is a flipped edge. So you can go ahead and do that and you can cancel. Like you would have this, but we were in this state, so you're just going to go ahead and cancel right into that and fix your flip. Boom. Oops. And 3x3, three three, anything fancy. Not really. The only thing is like in 3x3, three three, it's a good idea to pause a little bit before you do... You start your cross just to kind of track all the pieces and see what where's what's where. All right, solid number four. Okay, maybe these might not be half an hour. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll do five of each. That sounds. We'll see. All right. Um, 
He's already alive. Solves. All right, so let's look at solve number four. So we got... This is bad. This is a pretty... These are all pretty bad, honestly. Uh, I'm looking at red, because red, we got... All the red pieces are on these four faces right here. And what we can see imme I can see immediately is that... This is not the greatest scramble. I don't know. There's probably a better way to do this, but... I can move this piece here, and then make this T really quickly, and then kind of do... Finish off... I'd probably do something like this. This would be a really non-fluid first center. A lot of rotations. I wouldn't have been able to memorize the whole thing, so that was pretty bad, but... We worked into this real quick, 2x1. Um, real quick, 2x3. Finish off this bar. Now we're here. I'd probably go ahead and do green. I see this. I'd probably just go ahead and make this 2x2, two by, two by two, even though there's a, you can probably make something better with if you found like this center over here, but make this 2x2. Two two. See this 2x2 two two right here? I knew this 2x2 two two was right there. Notice how I pushed it. I did this U, this U, so it's now on the left side. Boom. Now match these up. Put it up here so it's on the left side. And then I see the last green piece right here. In this case, actually in this case, I would go ahead and solve yellow first, but I wouldn't do a rotation. I just solve yellow on top because it's so close to being done already. Middle bar is already done. We're going to go ahead and finish off the right bar. And now this is pretty easy. We know the unsolved bar is on the left side, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Boom. Uh, I think it's really helpful to be able to be versatile with uh, solving on back or front. I'm not that great on back, but I think it's helpful. So now I get this T. Make the 3x2, two, two, and then pretty standard end case. Uh, we already saw, actually, I we saw that um, these two, green, blue, and red, probably not the best start, but if we see right here, now we have a flip into the first edge. Green, and blue, and yellow. We do a rotation because we knew it wasn't on the bottom side. Uh, we see that there's red and yellow right here. Luckily, we can do this insert like this, and we know that it's not going to actually break these up because we're leaving them all right here. We're going to fix these. We're then going to notice, there's a couple things we notice in this case right here. So we got a lot of stuff going on. We got orange and yellow right here, matching with this orange and yellow. These, this is good. So we have these, this is like two pieces solved. Then we have this, we have this orange and white right here. And we have this red and yellow right here. So now it's important not to get too confused. The ideal scenario is solving them in an order where we can preserve everything. And luckily it's pretty easy. I don't know if I've seen this in the solve, but here's the ideal scenario. So we're going to solve orange and white with this one. We're just going to preserve... Now all these four pieces will be on these two, on this face, which is fine. So right here. Then we're going to solve red and yellow. And now we still have orange and yellow and orange and yellow right here, which we can then solve with this last piece right there. And all three edges, that was, like, if I did that perfectly in a solve, I'd be very happy. Um, as we can see now, the green and orange, we inserted correctly to make sure we got that. Now we're, now we finished all four on bottom, which is very nice to have. Blue, green, and ye green and white are right here. Uh, we also see, actually, we also see first is we have this red and green here. And I'd probably go ahead and solve this red and green because I know it's not going to mess up this green and white. Just do this slice up slice. And then go ahead and I'd probably also go ahead and see that uh, this blue and blue and white's right here. So I'd probably make a note of that so that when I go for the last edge, oh wait, there's no last edge. We're now done. So now we have blue and white. We got this blue and white back here. So to get to the front, and to set up a cycle, we're going to go R U R. We have this cycle right here. Boom. We're going to make sure we put this red and white piece on top so it goes back to here. So we have this right here. U2. Um, in this case, since we're not already set up for the cycle, I'd go ahead and do an M. I do like the M U2 M prime, but with a flip. So flip. And then we have a slice up, slice, last two edge case. Pretty standard. Then nothing fancy here so far. Two by three stages are pretty dull. All right, so let's do. We'll do two more. We'll do two more. Gonna get some nice hand scrambles in because what other way is there? Right. Oh yeah, this camera actually looks so much nicer. <laughs> We're out of the dark ages, everyone. All right, so uh, solve five. All right, so we finally got something that's not too uh, not too difficult. We got white. It's got a full bar here. Although, wow, Ooh, I don't know if I do white. Actually, this is a case where you see the full bar and white looks obvious, but I don't think I do white. So blue is even easier because we got this. 
two by one, and then that'll set up for this corner right here to go boom. It'll go boom right into that. And then I would already know that this will match up and then boom. I would have seen all that inspection. It might not have been completely blind, but I would have known the whole thing. Make this two by one, two by two, three by two, pretty standard. Got lucky there, things are already built. Last bar. Now we have this white bar again. Uh, we wouldn't even look at the bottom probably. We go ahead and see this white bar and these two white centers. Boom. Now we see this red bar and this is like, if we can preserve it, we might as well if there's no extra effort. We preserved it. In this specific case, I don't know if I'd go for red. Oh wow, okay, I might go for red. This is like, I'd probably check red. And then since this is like this, I'd go ahead and do red on top again. Because there's already two bars done. Boom. And now we got last two centers. Uh, this is a pretty nice case. We got these two. We'll be matching with this bar right here. Three by two. And then pretty easy last bar case. And they're all easy. <laughs> Alright, so we got green and white. Green and yellow, green and yellow right here. Careful to note, we got this red and yellow already. So we want to keep track of that. Insert here. I probably would do a lefty insert. But it's better to do a back insert here. That way we preserve this red and yellow still being in this workable face. Oh, we don't see red and yellow here. We're going to do a rotation. Boom, red and yellow. We also notice white and yellow. Or... Orange and yellow, orange and yellow, finish this off. We know this is right here, so we finish off red and yellow, and then finish off that. We got this red and white, which you noticed before. Notice red and white's not on top. We're going to do a rotation. Found red and white right here. Also notice orange and white, orange and white right here. So when we do this D, we can put orange and white in very quickly. No more orange and whites on top. We're going to check here. Found it. Also notice right here, blue and white, blue and white. So now we're looking for the last blue and white. Another rotation. A lot of rotations in the solve. Found it. Boom. Now we saw blue and orange, blue and orange. So we're just going to need a flip. We're going to first solve all four on top. Then you could do the flip right here. This is important. You could do the flip right here. But there's no reason to. You're going to have to do a Y2 anyways. Do the Y2 now. That way you can use the time while you're doing this flip to find your next piece. And we see got a couple options. We got red and green. We got orange and green right here. So we're going to do orange and green back here. In this case, actually, so this is a pretty, there's only one edge left, and this is the last edge. We could do a flip here, but that leaves us all at, with all centers messed up. Let's just do the flip like this. That way, given the chance, we have now more of an effect over the last four edge case. Fortunately, this still sucks. Uh, so we got that, which isn't bad. This is a pure, a good cycle case. See this, cycle. Preserve these two with the cycle. See this, slice of slice. Last two edge case, parity. First parity, actually, wow. And then three by three. All right, last one. All right, so this case, let's check out the scramble. All right, so this is a pretty nice scramble. We see green immediately, because we have, this is, a, this is nice because we have green, all the green pieces are in this layer, in the M layer right here. We got, this green piece is going to go here. We can make some two by threes. We can make we can make whatever we want with this one. So the key here is how we're going to make sure we have two three two by ones, and we got this corner piece. We got we need two two by ones because we're going to do this for sure. That's our first move. So we need two more two by ones, and we got to make this corner piece match to get a uh, three by two, a three by one. So we'll probably do this first, and then this this boom boom, and then we're going to match these up. I wouldn't have memorized that whole thing. I've just been looking for everything, kind of tracking where things went. Knowing, knowing it's all in the M layer means it's super fast. So this is the setup to a T. Finish the T. Finish the last bar. Boom. Then this is a pretty poor case. Probably just go for red here because we can make... Oh, we go for white here. Sorry. Duh, white. We got this full bar and these two edges. Boom. Then finish off this bar. This is a terrible red case, but we wouldn't switch to orange because that's interesting. We'd start here, pick the T. We definitely use this left piece because we don't want to make it to finish this two by three because you don't want to break up this one. Last bar. Then right here, we'd use this bar to two by three here. And then last bar there. This is a pretty nice start. We got blue and white. We got red and white. We got orange and white. First, we're gonna go ahead and do this to match them up. Match up red and white. We see red and white right here. Probably shouldn't have taken out this blue and white. Probably should have done it somewhere, somewhere else. We see red and yellow now. Wow. So red and yellow right there. Blue and white's very quick solution right there. Uh, we got orange and green right here. 
And now we don't really see anything much else on top, but we already got three solved. So we're going to go ahead and finish this one and enter it on top. All four solved. Very nice start. Now we got green and yellow. We also remember from earlier that there's still this orange and white, so we're looking for that last orange and white piece because we know it's around. Boom, it's right here. Solve that. Yellow and orange. Wow, this is a really easy... Um, holy crap. And now we got even easier. Now we got... We check here. Green and or blue and orange. Uh, blue and orange. Finish up. Realign. Uh, we see slice up slice here. Nothing else is too good. Definitely do not do a slice up slice here to save this. It's not probably not going to be worth anything. Uh, unfortunately, this is a terrible case, but we can do MU2 M prime. We can cancel the this move because we're going to slice up slice to solve this edge, and then last four, last two edge case no parity. And nothing else to to it. So yeah, that was um. Oops. All right, that was five by five last or walkthrough solves part one. I'll do some more next week. I know they're kind of repetitive, but I think we're seeing some new things. Actually, I might not not one hundred percent how many I'll do next week, but that was part one.